Surat BRTS of total length of 114 kilometers is one of the longest in India. It gives an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour, which is pretty high compared to other big cities in India. The good part about the city is the average travel time is still 25 minutes. We know that cities like Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, where the average trip time is one hour or more than one hour. But in Surat, it is still 25 minutes only. Now the challenge is to now maintain it with 25 minutes. So what we believe just now is if you want to operate, you operate with good frequencies. Otherwise, you don't operate. Electric bus is a good concept. But just having a few buses on road is not enough. It should be a part of a good public transport system. And the important elements are frequency and coverage. Our main motto is Saral Parivahal Samrudh Jan Jeevan. Public demand comes on their basis. Our team is working on their basis. Where is the demand from? And where is the feasibility check? From that feasibility, we have the general public benefit. From that, we have the route planning. Surat has two kinds of bus services, BRTS and City Bus. Till now, Surat City Link has deployed 250 e-buses only on BRT routes. Eventually, all diesel buses will be replaced by e-bus by 2025. Deploying e-buses is a bit complex. It is not so simple as diesel buses. We have to be very cautious regarding the scheduling part as well because we have to maintain frequencies on a route. You need e-buses to be charged and need to take that into account for scheduling. As a rule, all buses are charged at night at the depot. But there is also opportunity charging during daytime. Luckily, in Surat, we have our depots located in the vicinity of our public transport lines. So it does not take more time to go from my transit line to the depot actually. The beauty of the business model with scientific scheduling is that the operator does not want to lose out on kilometers and makes full arrangements while the users get full advantage of the service. And the scheduling is dynamic. We have our vehicle planning and scheduling system that helps us basically to analyze the passenger pattern, the peak hour load factor, and in a way, it gives us on what frequencies we should operate. While rolling out a new system, the most important thing is to train people for new jobs. The operator had to do this. We had a challenge for normal diesel bus. Electric bus with automatic transmission buses. ट्रेनिंग दिया है, उसके बाद जो ट्रेनर है, हमको सिलेक्ट किया कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक बस चला सकते हो। उन्होंने क्या? तो हमने चलाया भी बस। पैसेंजर कैसे उठाना, पैसेंजर को कैसे उतारना, बस कैसे लॉगिंग करना, और कैसे चलाना, कितने स्पीड पे चलाना, ऐसे सब बताया। Similarly. Charging technicians were also trained. The most important person in an e-bus operation is the electrical engineer. उसको भी training session हम लोग अपना depot का अंदर electric engineers होते, electric engineer का through हम लोग training session arrange करते. Maintenance technicians are trained by the bus manufacturer. In Surat, the public transport company, the operator, and all e-buses are in perfect sync.